Greg here. Uh, we're going to look at the DSP section of the IPR2 series amplifiers. Uh, I'm just going to go through it, and uh, when you, I'll turn turn it off just so you kind of see what it looks like when you turn it on. Uh, it takes a couple seconds. This tells you what version it is, and you'll see as soon as you see PV Electronics, it's ready to go. So if I, I turn it, my first thing's volume. Minus 40, that's down. You can go to minus 90, and if you go up to zero, that's all the way up. So zero is what we call unity gain. That's all the way up. So you got your volume. Then you have your crossover. Now when you go to your crossover, you just push the button, and you have your filters. You want to be independent, all right? Or do you want B to equal A? Or do you want A to be your lows and B to be your highs? So you, it's, it's a very nice little preset, so you can do that quickly and easily. Then here's your high pass, your low pass, your high pass B, low pass B. And then you have your output, so you have normal polarity on both. And then once you're done, it'll ask you if you want to complete, if you want to exit, discard, or save and exit. Very simple. So you go to EQ section, you go to EQ section, you can, it's A and B, it's the same. I can have A on, B on, bypass, so right now they're both on, or I can bypass one and not the other. So independent, now, max bass enhancement. Max bass is a psychoacoustic program. What it does is when you hear a subharmonic, you hear a fourth order of that as well. So Waves Technologies, who does all the plugins, developed this for studios where if you hear the fourth harmonic, your brain will hear that and fill in that subharmonic. It's not actually there. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, I've done demos where I brought it in and out, and all of a sudden it feels like you put this max, you know, sonic maximizer in the system, but <clears throat> you have a spectrum analyzer, it's not there. It's very cool. And you can do it between zero and 100%, so you can put it in right where you want it, so whether you're doing just moderate stuff or your you know, club stuff anywhere you want. And if you have some 12s, you want to have a little more bass, but you can't afford a subwoofer, use this. It sounds like you have one with a pair of 15s. It's quite amazing, even a pair of 12s. So then you have four bands of parametric EQ for each channel, and then that, that's that. And then you have your delay, and then you have your limiter. Your limiter is really nice because it protects your speakers. Your speakers get blown up if you, if you put too much into them. Limiter keeps it where it needs to be. And then after you set, set all that, then you can have memory, you can have user presets, and then you can lock it. You can lock it where it just locks the, uh, everything but the volume or including the volume. And then you have to have a code, a four digit code to get through. So that's the DSP section, and it's really, really nice enhancement. Personally, I like to have DSP in my amplifier. Some people don't, but I, I highly recommend it. So uh, check it out and check it out at Audio Savings.